Hi everyone. Is he smile? Say hi. Hi. Okay, so you guys are gonna get lots of little bitty videos out of us today. Um, so what we're going to be doing right now is we are going to be changing out from a single knob, which is this one, this one, this one. You guys can't see. There it is. Okay, so this little bitty knob, um, that's what came with the the vanity. We have painted it in oil red bronze. We painted the inside bright white. However, I really just don't love the knob at all. So we're going to be changing out I for. <laughs> well, we're going to change it out for one of these guys. Um, this is my favorite contrast between the oil red bronze whenever I use it for furniture. I think it just makes everything look much nicer. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. If you get this very large size at Home Depot, one of the big box stores, you're looking to spend, you know, $10, $12 for each pool, which is kind of crazy, um, where you can get a pack of 10 of them. Uh, for like 12 10 bucks something like that. So we use them everywhere. So the first thing you're going to do is Flip the door out and you're going to see that there is a screw on the other side Which I'll pause and show that to you. All right And so that's the screw and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to use the drill and I'm going to Unscrew that screw. So I'm gonna get you guys set up in a better position so you can stay there Okay, so there's the little screw and first step is reversing the screw out Easy peasy. All right, and then we're going to put you back where you were a minute ago, and we are going to show you how to very, very easily change that out. Okay, so we're just going to push the new screw through the hole. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can, it's right in front of you. And then we're going to put the new one in. I always just rotate them. And I'm going to put my drill on the other side and tighten it up. Okay, so now that one is in. It's loud. It is loud. And it's very crooked right now. So what I like to do with my handy dandy level, lovely assistant, can you get my handy dandy level? Who is it? Oh, and a pencil. So we're going to pause. And Isabel, Isabel brought me a pencil and we actually have to sharpen it with her little cute pencil sharpener kit. And so we're taking a... And the pencil sharpener is connected to my box. Yes. All right. So I have my level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at this part of the level to see where the handle is level. And the bubble is right in the center. So now, with Isabel's pencil, I'm actually just going to draw a little semicircle at the top right here. And then I'm just going to push it out of the side. And I use a pencil because I can erase it after I get done. So, just like I have a drill bit that has a Phillips on the end, I have this awesome little set, this awesome little set, of drilling bits. So what you do is you find a drilling bit that is the appropriate size, which I'm going to say that this one probably is. And you're going to line it up with one of, yes, Izzy. It's fitted just like me. Yes. I'm going to line it up with the screw to make sure that it's going to fit the screw. And so this one should fit the screw. So then what I'm going to do is this is one of the quick release ones. Pop it up, pull this out, mm -hmm. put the new one in, pop it down. And now I'm going to make, drill a hole right in the center of that hole that I, or that semicircle that I just drew. And boom, now we have a hole. We can erase the hole. It's like it never happened. Okay, so there's the screw. And we're going to screw this one in like we did the other one. All right, and that's it. And now we close the door. And look at that. That looks great. So we are going to go through and put the door back on right here, put the handle on, 
do the handles up there and then we will show you the finished bathroom which is also going to be part of another video that we've been working on so that's pretty much it right now all right here's our finished product we have hello lovely when you first walk in we have both of those floor to ceiling shower curtains we have our seize the day mermaid mermaid kisses and starfish wishes i did install a couple more this used to be a towel bar so now we have this so she has plenty of space for her towels and then the toilet you guys saw the hand towel video how to install that toilet we had already installed it was blue put the toilet paper roll holder in there because you know that's a necessity we still have that builder green mirror but we are going to be getting rid of that we just have to wait for the stores to open up and to find one at a habitat the now plumbed beautiful awesome sink and faucet which doubles as a magic kitty box surprise and then her placement for the pictures up here and the mermaid at the top and she also does have storage um, in here we keep our cleaning products up high so she can't get them but if she has little random things that she wants to put in one of the door hangers is always awesome so that's it hello lovely and i hope you have a wonderful day i'll try to add the blue bathroom video at the tail end of this one for you